Wow! Oh my God! I have goosebumps. And to kick off today's show, your one and only who joins you every Tuesday evening, our co-founder, CEO, and my little brother who's better than me. <laughs> pow, wow, wow, you be OBA. Let's give a round of applause to Cyrus Fazel. Be happy, stay wealthy, and love our CHSP. Oh, 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 the music on. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys. This is really the best job I ever got in my life, seriously. <laughs> Getting so many people that came from a lot of different places across Switzerland, France, Italy, Spain, Portu Portugal, and, and exactly, and many other places. It's really, really, really the best feeling that one could have. Uh, and all this thanks to um, you guys, our community. So as you guys know, one of the most important things we do at Swissborg is to gather our community to go into this strong mission, right? This is really what we really try to do, and, and it's always about building, learning, and earning. So <laughs> you all know what, what the thrill is and how we get to create fun things all the time. So we're going to have a fun giveaway like always. So if you guys know what to do, what should we do usually with the giveaways? What happens with NFTs? What do you, how do you download any NFTs? <laughs> You know the drill, exactly, okay? So what's going to be happening is that you're going to be able to win 3,000 different NFTs, and there's 200 that are super rare. They'll give you a lifetime opportunity to be super cool, okay? <laughs> so please make sure that as soon as at a random time, here you guys in the crowd and people as well watching on YouTube, make sure to scan the NFT and to download, obviously, the engine wallet that enable you to scan this one, okay? Everyone got it? We're, we're good for, for now? Yes, that's great. And now back to my brother from the same mother. <laughs> All right, everybody. So, you know, when I think about the community here today, I would like to first test the temperature and understand who is who. We heard some of the OGs, right? We had, some, we had Enrico, we have Chaliste, we have Alex, we have some of the legends here today. Who are those who joined us either 2017, 2018, or 2019? All right, wow. And you're still here, <laughs> that's amazing. <laughs> Thank you so much for your loyalty. So kind of, this is the first group. So the 2017, 2019 are the survivors of the crypto winter. And for those reasons, I feel like we've really felt similar pains altogether, right? As you all remember, the token actually dropped 99% at one point. And for you guys to still be here is, you deserve yourself a round of applause, seriously. Thank you so much. I want to tell you a story that has not even reached our office, a very personal story. And uh, you know, when we, when we hit a low, really the lowest of all lows, the token was down, everybody hated us, even the press was attacking us, even the local press, first page, we had some really bad publicity. And one of the people on my team, amazing, amazing woman, and a shout out to all the lovely women here today and the lovely women that help us drive the company in the right direction. And she literally, she was going out one night at a pub, and she told me all about the story. She found this gentleman at the bar, and they started chatting with each other, going back and forth, and they really clicked. There was a great connection. There was chemistry, vibrations, everything was going great. And this sounds crazy, but when he asked her, by the way, what do you do? She said, I work at Swissborg. In those days, he looked at her, and he walked away because of all the negativity that was happening in those days. But the worst part is when she looked at me in the eye, and I was very uncomfortable in the situation, and she told me, and Alex, he was so hot. <laughs> the good news is she found a better boyfriend three days later. There you go, men. <laughs> Women are better than us. Second generation, 2019, 2020, 2021, 2022, any more recent people? Can I see your hands? 
Fantastic. Okay, so we have people from the second generation. So some of you joined us even at the peak of the bull market、uh, last year. Yes, <laughs> I see literally a tear. Like, yeah, yeah, you, you're feeling my feelings.、Um, and I must say, it's painful. You may be down 50, 60%. Unfortunately, that's the way the market goes. But tonight, if you have a chance to speak to one of the OGs, have a chat and, and try to find out how difficult it was back then. Even more difficult. And more importantly, there's one thing that I can say with 100% confidence is that although history does not necessarily repeat itself, it does rhyme. So try to le- read between the lines. And speaking of history and talking about the future, I would like to introduce you to our other co founder, a brother from another mother, Anthony Le Soigne. Okay. Good. Yeah, before we start,、uh, I must say,、uh, after spending so much time in conference call, virtual meeting, it's,、uh, yeah, it's very impressive to see such a big audience today. It's very humbling as well. So I wanted to thank you again from the bottom of my heart to be here today. Thank you.、Oh. <laughs> All right, so thinking of、uh, 2021, if there is one word I can think of is adoption. No matter which direction you look at,、um, it was the year of all record breaking numbers. Number of wallets on L1 created, the number of revenues made by exchange, the number of users, we've seen as well.、Um, Brands such as Adidas and Nike launching their own NFT collection. We've seen stars buying all these NFTs, Bored Ape, and etc. And we, all, we almost seen as well、uh, countries dumping their own currencies to adopt Bitcoin, such as El Salvador, for example. So, my, some of you might believe or might wonder is it for the good or is it for the worst? As far as I'm concerned, I genuinely believe it is for the good. I believe last year, because of mass adoption, because of the exponential adoption of crypto, we have built the necessary foundation for the revolution we have been all waiting for. And yes, maybe we went quick, maybe too quick, and we might experience on the short term some volatility. Maybe we are already experiencing some, right? It's for sure the beginning of the year is not as bright as a year ago. But it doesn't matter because, again, it was very important that we have this phase that we can create a sustainable future. So, this、um, mass adoption was enabled because technologists. I've created more and more use cases for blockchain and cryptocurrencies. But I genuinely believe that it's not only because we have designed more user experience that adoption happens. I think the adoption was enabled because there is some profound change that are happening within our society. I believe the foundation on which Our society is built a s h a k i n g What is money? What is my wo- money worth? What is data? What is my privacy? Why are all these big guys so obsessed to leave Earth and go and travel to Mars? Why are all these guys are obsessed by the metaverse? So I think in our traditional economy and traditional society, There is a lot of unanswered questions. So, any attempt to provide more clarity, more alignment to individuals and even communities can be transformed into a very powerful tool. But as technologists, as people that develop these tools, we then bear a very great responsibility. We bear the responsibility not to commit the same mistakes 
as the Web2 has done. Because too often in the Web2 experience, the adoption of technology by the many only benefit to the few. So the Web3 promises is to be able to unlock the value that is trapped into our traditional economy and to give it back to the end of the people. But for this dream to happen, we have to be fully committed to this mission. And if we are too selfish and we think of, of our little self, I genuinely believe we are in a great danger just to go around in cycle. So before I end up the mic to my brother from another mother with whom I start this, uh, this fantastic journey, I want to leave you with one thought. What will you do today if I'll be telling you that there is people, there is communities that are working on tools that will enable anyone to participate in the web-free economies? Cyrus, what will you do? <laughs> beautiful thoughts, beautiful thoughts, Anthony, here. For those who don't know, Anthony, we often call him Socrates, because he's really the big thinker behind and has a really philosophical way of not only bringing a vision, but as well building beautiful things together. Um, as you guys know, one of the core mission of Swissborg is really this edutainment. You know, we've done that since five years ago, and we want to really educate people and entertain them at the same time, because we know that's how we will go from a Web 2 to a Web 3, where we could collaborate, where we could challenge ourselves, and we could learn to become better people, because that's the end goal of everyone. Why you want to make more money? That's not the purpose of your life. Maybe you want to make more money in order to invest better, to change, to have an impact, and to create something better for your future children, right? Or your current children. And at least have a better impact. And I think so this is a fundamental quest is how we are very different from the others is that we do have a strong purpose, right? When I see Roman Sprengers that does 5,000 eyes on Twitter and we all have this together, it's freaking cool. And by the way, Roman, where are you? Big applause to yourself, brother from another mother. It might be a small thing, but it's not. It really shows that we are changing something stage by stage at, at a little step, but you, hopefully this will have a huger impact. And, and with that edutainment approach, I think so, you know, it's a, it's a very common uh, sentence, right, quote, that is, give a man a fish and you feed him for a day, teach a man to fish and you feed him for a lifetime. And, and, and it sounds fishy, obviously, uh, but, but it is important. And it's extremely important to show how we could be different from the others and how we could really together, as a strong family, as a strong community, be on this mission which is to democratizing wealth management by making it super easy. I don't need to do anything anymore. It's great. <laughs> but but th th these are something that are powerful. And, and, and very often people say like, but how are you democratizing this wealth management? Well, I could tell you actually a question to you. Every month we have roughly 70 people that join the platform, okay? Out of those 70, Half of them do fiat to crypto, so they get into crypto, right? They buy crypto, it's great. And the other half actually convert their crypto into, their fiat into crypto and start uh, yielding on it. Do you guess how old these people are? Any guess? 20? Who says something else? 50, 60? 40. So they're actually over 80 years old. It's a chord that is between 80 and to the end. So this shows how we are building a great experience and how whatever the age you are, you could actually, within few clicks, get to yodel. I mean, getting into DeFi <laughs> is pretty much impossible. And this is how I think, you know, what will be the killer app, what will be the killer ecosystem is what we're building. Because we, 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 we come from the right unique perspective is that we want to bring this to the bigger uh, community. 
When you talk about fun, well, obviously there's a lot of things that we do fun, like such as this event. I think so. I hope you're enjoying it. There's obviously the powwow, yo yippee, yo yippee, yay, guys. Uh, there's you know the crypto challenge, and there's so many things. How do we make it fair? The smart engine, the transparency, the values that we bring to the table, and community centric. Well, this event talks for itself. But obviously, SB Nation, the tokens that we vote for. By the way, who, who has voted for AMX recently? Raise your hand. <laughs> Not a lot of people. <laughs> okay, who has voted for Shiba? Maybe. <laughs> A little bit more, okay, a little bit more, okay. I know that's a very uh, political, uh, non-correct discussion we have at Swissborg all the time, so let's not bring up the dog tonight. Uh, but we have so much things that go with this community, and I think so. it's very, very, very important to get this out, and again, to be, to democratizing wealth management by making fun, fair, community-centric. But how do we really do this, right? I think so. The best person to talk about this is obviously our lovely Jackie with the divot, 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 divot. Serves you. Ah. Uh, be happy, stay wealthy, and love. And our love CHSB. Yeah, that's not going to end well. <laughs> So we've covered a lot of big ideas tonight already, but how are we practically moving towards our vision? And the first way we're doing it is with the SwissBorg app. So last year was a huge year for our app. We went from 97,000 users to over 550,000. So that was an increase of 456,000 or up 371%. We went from $427 million of volume to $8.25 billion. Yeah. <laughs> we went from 1.8 million in fees to 50.6 million, and from 86 million in net flows to the app to 1.2 billion. So this demonstrates that we are really bringing crypto to the world with this app. But what makes the app so special? Well, the first feature is the SwissBorg Smart Engine and the love. <laughs> So our team is obsessed with creating the best tech to help people manage their crypto wealth. And the Smart Engine is a perfect example of this. In fact, the tech is so good that many of our users don't even know it exists. So I'm going to explain a little bit about how it works. Whenever you start a job at SwissBorg, there's actually a challenge that's part of the onboarding process, which is buy CHSB without using the SwissBorg app. So, how does it work? You will usually need to convert your Swiss francs to US dollars or euros, so you find one platform to do that. Then you take your US dollars and you take them to another platform where you can buy Bitcoin. Then you probably need to move to a third platform where you can go from Bitcoin to CHSB. Every single one of those platforms, you need to do KYC. Every single one of those platforms, you're paying fees, and you're probably not left with that much at the end to withdraw. So what the smart engine does is, rather than you having to take all of those steps, it does them for you automatically. So we have 31 crypto assets in the app now and 16 fiats. And with SwissBorg, in a couple of taps, you can exchange from anything to anything. So the app has created, I think, nine... <laughs> So the app actually has 961 synthetic pairs, and synthetic pairs means that those pairs don't exist on any other exchange. The only way you can exchange them directly is with the SwissBorg app. And the reason you can do that is because it's a meta exchange. It's connected to Bitfinex, Binance, HipBTC, Almax, and Kraken. And every time you do an exchange, it scans all of those exchanges to find the assets you want at the best price. So, how has it grown? First, last year we went from 49 supported coins to 69. We went from 140 orders a day to 15,000 orders a day, and from 140,000 euros in daily trading volume to $23 million in trading volume. And the final special feature of the SwissBorg app, 
is the smart yield. So this was a feature that really propelled SwissBorg's growth in 2021. We launched our first smart yield wallet for USDC at the end of 2020, and then last year we added another seven wallets, so now we've got eight. Our users have over 800 million staked in their smart yield wallets, and they've earned, in fact, this week, they've earned $50 million in smart yield. <laughs> And the best part is, is that there's much more to come. So within the Smart Yield portfolio, we've got Aave coming, um, Avagotchi, Curve, and Dai, but there are far bigger plans for yielding beyond that. So Cyrus, would you like to tell us more about those? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but we have Suni at least, you know, that, that's a great character, so... <laughs> I mean, the smart yield, we heard about this earlier that, you know, we got people from all sort of range that could get into crypto, right? And, and easily better, it's people buying, everyone say, I want to hodl. And hodling is great, you know, it's the first step into crypto, right? But hodling is not sufficient to really make sure that we're going to be using this technology, right? If you're just investing in, and just leaving it there, you're not actually giving the service of what technology is, which is essentially to make things work, right? So the yodeling perspective we started in uh, late 2020, it started extremely well with Bitcoin, Ether, and so many different other ones. But we started to look at, is this the perfect way for everyone? Right? Is this something that you all like? Obviously, the r rates are great, but how can we look at something different? Maybe let's concentrate first on what's happening into this market. Right? There's staking that you guys know is how you stake on different protocols. There's lending in DeFi, how could go on, on different cool platforms such as Aave and other different DeFi projects. There's some mixing of ways to get some leverage and have higher different yields. And then last but not least, there's some power auctions that happened this year were quite cool. These are all great ways to get into yields for people that are less than 0.1% of the planet. This first is highly complicated. It is a big mess how to get into this, right? You need your MetaMask, then you need to go onto one chain, look on another chain. You have to look on different, if there's parachains, then you have to look into the platform. You have to look if you're good at solidity, and looking at the smart contract, look at cybersecurity risk, looking at the oracles. Then after that, you have to look at, you know, what are the underlyings? Is there a, the possibility of this whole thing to cascade and to blow up? Is there other threats that are not seen right now? There's so many different barriers that goes to this, right? So this is not for Mr. Everyone. Like, I don't believe that anyone's over 80 that's in DeFi today, right, and doing this. This is way too complicated. And even if you master all these skills, right, you, and you do this, you have to pay the gas fees, right, which are very high. So this is not a real way to democratize. Most of these platforms have less than 10,000 or 15,000 users, actually. It's usually big whales, right, institutional smart people that have been into this game forever. And more importantly, they do that with a big amount of assets. And even if you have all of that, well, do you really want to spend your time doing uh, liquidity pools looking at this thing all the time? Probably not. And I think so. That's maybe the reason why sometimes we have to look at automation and have a brother from another mother that's called Anthony that's going to figure out the solution. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so <clears throat> at Swissborg, because one size do not fit whole, we felt the urge to converge from a 1D to a 3D. Okay, I'm going to repeat myself. One more time, guys. Rewind. <laughs> Once more time. Okay. <laughs> so at Swissborg, because one size could not fit whole, we felt the urge to converge from 1D to 3D. <laughs> <laughs> So what does it mean? It means that being a user of the Wealth app, you will be able to invest, to yield, according to your risk appetite, your commitment that you're ready to take, 
and as well the payout that you prefer. Okay, let's play a role play, right? Just to better explain to the audience what does it concretely means. Jackie, can you tell us more about your investment conviction? So I have a very low risk tolerance. So I'm okay taking a lower return as long as I know I'm not going to lose the assets I already have. I'm also very loyal when I find an asset I like. So if I find something I believe in, I'm going to be invested for the next five, 10, 20 years. So it doesn't matter to me if I can't access that. If it's locked up for the next year, the next two years, that's fine because I would have been holding it anyway. Very good. So we'll have a solution for you. Staking <laughs> will be designed exactly for your need. You will earn 5% a year and you will have to commit for a long period of time. Cyrus, what can you tell? Well, besides obviously CHSB that I'm holding for life and Yodley for life, I think so I'm an active trader, so I like to pick a lot of different tokens. I like to have a, like, a decent yield, but at least have a highly liquid, like that could get in and out, and that for me is, is what I think is the most important. Very good, because you're a guy that needs not to commit for a long period of time, exactly what you need. So you will have access to DeFi farming, where you can risk to lose your capital, of course, and you have a 4% APY, and you only need to commit for 24 hours. What about you, Alex? I love poker and blackjack. <laughs> so I want to make as much cash as possible. Let's go, baby. So <laughs> we'll have a multi-strategy for you. You can earn up to 40%. 40%? And you have to commit for seven days, and your capital will be at risk. But the best strategy I can see for you. Myself? I'm a much more complex investor. I like to have the opportunity to earn very big, but I don't want to lose my capital. So myself, I will go for a bullish note that will protect my capital. APY will be uncertain. I will have to have some commitment, but I know my capital is protected, which is very good for me. Very good. OK, so <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Right, so just to sum up how the evolution will take place in the app. So of course, we, we, we have this very extensive roadmap. It is a starting point today, and it will extend all across the years that we are going to share together. So we will start with proof of stake. Proof of stake are great because they provide any user a very low risk. Commitment can be, I mean, significant, but risk is very low. For people, and it's quite innovative, I'm very proud of this innovation, for people that want to trade, that want to keep their asset very liquid, that they can do whatever they want, we are working on liquid yield, which means that from the moment you will make your transfer to the app, with your crypto, you will start to earn yield. No commitment. No commitment at all. For the people that are wants to explore the DeFi space, which you know, Cyrus reminds us it's very tiring, so much gas fees and all these things, we will continue to act as a bridge toward this ecosystem that you can get all the best APY that exists within this world. And for the people that always look for the best and the smartest combination, we will have more advanced yield strategies. And in the long future, this is our goal as well, to provide IDO, IFO, and as well, Paul Cadot, Parachain Auction, for example, and all these very complex uh, events that happen within blockchain that are very difficult to follow, but that will be accessible directly from the app. And of course, to create, to enable this evolution, to create this revolution, we need to start somewhere. So our goal for the year that come is to become the leader in a proof of stake protocol to allow our, all our user through best UX market with, I mean, a large range of choice, adaptive payout and additional reward to get the best experience that exists with proof of stake. Speaking of reward, Alex, what can you tell us about what's coming next? <laughs> well, well, well. There you go. Who's ready? Oh, wow, yo, yippee, yo, yippee, yay. All right, everybody, oh, you got your oh, apps yo, ready? Yo, yippee, yay. Si, what's happening, Sai? Uh, I want to, I want to, I want to. Stay wealthy. <laughs> okay, I almost got it after you. 
always here Everyone to ready? serve you. Everyone out there, all our friends who are online, virtually, do you have your scanners ready? And love our CHSP. Uh, three. Two. Two and a half. Two and one quarter. <laughs> one. Go! Be happy. Stay wealthy. Always here to serve you. Be happy. Stay wealthy. And love our CHSP. <laughs> All right, everyone managed to scan. Yeah, good to go. Oh, wow, yo, yippee, yo, yippee, yay. Oh, wow, yo, yippee, yo, yippee, yay. All right, so our next topic, welcoming back the lovely Stay Jackie wealthy. to talk about smart payments. One more round of applause for Jackie. Always here to serve you. Dib it, dib it, dib it. So before we move on, who got one of the special gold or silver NFTs? Anyone? Oh. Ooh. Oh, nice. Ah. There are only like a hundred of each of those, so you are the chosen ones. So we've talked about creating all of these new yielding options, but what is the point in having these options if they're not accessible? Now, the key to making all of these yielding options accessible to everyone is payments. <laughs> People are super excited about NFTs. <laughs> <laughs> we need an NFT break in the middle of the AMA. Okay, so how are we going to make all of these new yielding innovations accessible to everyone? And the answer is payments. Now, imagine this scenario. You have a friend who you think should be using the Swiss Borg app. You've told them about all of the great features, you've told them about all of the cryptos they can access, the yields they can get, the smart engine, and they're just not into it. And maybe they, maybe they even logged in, but they don't feel safe enough to deposit some of their own assets. You know, they're not sure about SwissBorg, maybe they think we're a shady company. Or maybe they just feel like, I really want to try the product before I buy, but I can't do that because I don't want to put assets in there. So what's the solution? Maybe you could send them 50, 100 CHSB, but the problem with that is the withdrawal fees, because once you send your 50 CHSB, there's not much left when it arrives with them. This next update is going to solve that problem. So very soon, you'll be able to get free peer-to-peer -peer payments in the Swiss Borg app. This means... <laughs> <laughs> See, you're glad you're listening now, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> so these payments will be instant, totally free, and it applies to every single asset in the app. So that includes all of the cryptos and all of the fiats as well. <laughs> now, the next payment scenario might be familiar to you. At the moment, if you want to deposit fiats in the app or if you want to buy crypto, you need to do a deposit. You need to go into your online banking, type in your Swiss Borg IBAN, wait for it to arrive, and it's, it's a bit of an annoying process, especially when the market's moving really fast, and maybe you don't want to exchange anything that's already in the app, but you want to take advantage of these movements. So what will solve that problem? Well, the next update we're making is you'll be able to deposit fiat to the Swiss Borg app using a debit or credit card. So this is something as well that's coming very soon. Every transaction will include secure 3D verification, so you know that your card details are safe, your assets are safe, and you can continue investing more easily with SwissBorg. But the things we've talked about so far are really focused on an individual level, about helping individuals invest more effectively. But SwissBorg is at the size where we need to look beyond individual investors. It's time to look at the impact we're having on the world and the planet. And for that, I can think of no one better to discuss the topic than Anthony. Okay. 
Do we have euros in the audience today? Yes? Do we have euros? Yeah? Cool. Very good. So, yeah, since, I think since the very early days of SwissBorg, uh, we've been obsessed by designing investment experience that helps people to better connect with their values. And uh, when you look at the team, I think it's, it's pretty fair to say that we are people of convictions. So, Swiss, so Cy <laughs> Cyrus, <laughs> can you tell us more about your conviction? Obviously, I hope you know where this is going, right? We didn't choose Swissborg color just out of nowhere, right? We didn't think about Swiss and the Borg as well out of nowhere, right? We thought there was a lot of values that were in those colors and that name as well. And, and, and a lot of people talk about ESG. Uh, who believes in ESG, by the way? Raise your hand. Who doesn't believe in ESG? And that means that 90% don't know what ESG is so far. OK, so th that, that's good. So ESG uh, stands for Environment Sustainable Goals, OK? So it's how to create an impact while developing not only a green planet, but a better planet. And, and in terms of the society, how can we define goals and get to a better stage? Obviously, this is, has been in, right in the beginning is how to create something that's more decentralized, right? How to get into our mission, right? Then when talking about governance, you all know that here today, you, some of them have voted for tokens, some of them have voted on different referendums. SB Nation is always here to pass in initiatives. And more importantly, every feedback, every, every tweet, not every, but most tweets, reviews, or whatsoever, I actually read them. And so does our team. Because we really feel that you all, all are parts of our team, which is the Swissport team. And this is something that's very important. Earlier, I just had a conversation with people saying, you know, but what is the difference between a user and a community member? I ask you the question, what, who knows what's the difference between a community and a user? <laughs> the big difference is that a community member is allowed to take action and to create initiatives that could really change the platform, but more importantly, could strive economically to have strong incentives in order to do so as well. And that is exactly what we're doing. Last but not least, the environment of the ESG is obviously something very important. We know that crypto is great, but crypto is not clean yet. And this is exactly what we want to look, be looking forward for the next five, 10 years to happen. So in terms of ESG, and uh, thanks for Francesco for putting this up. By the way, I'm sure he worked on the slides. Uh, you know, ESG assets in 2025 is going to be 53 trillion. So one third of the global assets under management total. Okay, more than 50 percent actually of ESG thematics have outperformed in the last year, which is very interesting. And what is very very interesting as well, what's happening with Swissborg is that we are part of the Crypto Climate Org, which is essentially a, 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 a quite like a DO organization that has a really challenging goal that by 2030, we will have a zero emission in terms of blockchain. So really making blockchain sustainable, because if it's not sustainable, eventually it won't thrive. It's as easy as that. If we're not sustainable as a species, we will never go to Mars, we will never go to the moon. So this is something that is very, very interesting. But more than talks, should you do the walk? <laughs> so we actually have like two parallel roadmaps to bring our ESG vision to life. And the first one is reducing our energy footprint and then decarbonization. So in this roadmap, there are three key pillars. The first priority is reducing or offsetting the token, offsetting the energy footprint of the CHSB token. So we've calculated that the CHSB token has consumed 17,500 megawatt hours of energy since 2017 when we had our ICO. The plan here is to neutralize it via renewable energy certificates. Priority two is green mining. Now everyone knows that. Bitcoin has a very large energy impact. That doesn't mean Bitcoin is bad, though. That just means we need to be smarter about the way we mine it. So we're already doing green mining in the EU and plan to expand that globally. 
And then finally, once we've offset the impact of CHSB, we want to do that for every single token in the Swiss Borg app. So there are now 30 other tokens in the app. There are more to come in the coming weeks and the coming months. And uh, currently, we are estimating their energy impact, and we're planning to neutralize those, again, with renewable energy certificates and with tree planting programs. <laughs> But wait, there's more. So like I said, we do have two parallel roadmaps. This is the decarbonization one. The second one is the product roadmap. So Anthony, over to you. <clears throat> all right, so uh, I think as individual, um, we all have an idea or even a conviction about what the future holds. You might think, for example, that we are going to spend our entire time in the metaverse, or maybe to Mars. You might believe that we're all going to drive electric car. And that's what your vision about the future is. As investor, though, picking the winner from an industry is very tough. And I can tell you from experience, there is no better feeling than being right about the future and still losing money. So, because it's so tough, at Swissborg, our mission is to create thematics that enable anyone to act on his idea, to act on his conviction, to transform any of this conviction into an investment decision. And what better opportunity to align this vision with our values and the things that we believe in than deciding that our first thematic that's going to be released this year is going to be ESG. And on top of that, to allow anyone to, again, use the app according not only to the perspective about the future profit, but as well their values, we are going to release in the marketplace some ESG rating that you can have a better idea of what's the token or uh, in terms of uh, environmental impact. But we can talk all about future um, product, features, everything. But the only thing that matters the most is the CHSB. And <laughs> so quick question, guys. Where is the CHSB going to? Obviously. <laughs> or to Mars, maybe. Uh, as you guys know, there's no other way that uh, Swissborg has always envisioned that CHSB is the heart of our ecosystem, right? CHSB has been shown that we had great times, so-so times, amazing times, so-so times, but we're very, if you zoom out on a large perspective, you'll probably see that this has a very, very, very good ride and a great experience for that. You know as well that we put all our efforts into the CHSB to make it one of the most valuable token uh, that we have in the blockchain ecosystem. Um, if you, we talk about a little bit what has happened so far, you want to take this one, Alex, or should I do it? No, I'm doing this one. Okay. okay. <laughs> um, you know, the, the CHSB itself had a crazy rocky ride. We know that, right? Uh, in 2020, in the app, we only had 15,000 people that had the, 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 the token. Uh, in 2021, we had 123,000 people, which that is a 700% growth. In terms of premium users, raise your hand, guys, if you're, if you're any premium on the side. Oh my God, wow. <laughs> we need to take a picture here and do an NFT out of this. Uh, this is a very valuable crowd. Big respect, guys. Um, we grown from 20, 2,800 to 28,000, okay? That is 10x, right? We need to do that next year, it'll be even better. Uh, and, and, and last but not least, the, the trust that we've put into it is immense, which was 51 million of CHSB locked, and at the end of the last year, over 180 million CHSB locked. And we know that this is probably one of the things that they're most really thank all of you guys for here for this trust, is to put all this, this yeah, great amount of capital into our mission that is uh, the CHSB. Alex, what's happening with CHSB and utilities? Utilities, it is. So as you all know, for those who've been with us from the early days, the first utility was 
voting in referendums, which is inspired by the way the Swiss governance structures are made. But that governance has changed a lot. Anyone here from the SB Nation crew? Yes, fantastic. So the beauty about SB Nation and the Swiss Borg National Council is that not just voting, people can actually make proposals, initiatives that will directly go into the tech roadmap. So we're very happy to keep on evolving the governance side because your voice matters. That's really what matters is your voice and making sure that you know, we're listening to you at all times. And of course, on top of that, recently we had the premium votes, right? You voted for your token a few times. There are some tokens that are still being debated. And that is also another extra on the governance side. But then on top of that, we have the premium accounts, as we just mentioned. Everyone, we moved from Genesis to the generation premium. We have the protect and burn, of course. And we have now the CHSB buyback. So what is the difference between protect and burn and buyback? So the protect and burn, as you know, percentage of trading fees goes and buys back the tokens and burns them forever so that we have a deflationary model. But the buyback itself is getting more treasury in CHSB so that we can continue to provide interesting yields for you to then lock up your tokens into a premium and become a premium member, even if you do not necessarily start with much wealth, as you all know. And that is, of course, thanks to the CHSB Yield 2.0, which really is trying to create and democratize wealth so that everyone is earning something and being a part of this ecosystem. But things are going to get even better, perhaps, this year. Would that be nice? Yes. So let's have a look at what is coming in the near future. Now, we have up here, as you can see, the thematics that Anthony just mentioned very beautifully. And by the way, the thematics, is, it's an incredible package bundle that we can have, not just based on the theme and the industry, but also eventually using influencers. Because as you know, we work a lot with many influencers, and combining them with a theme and a big person, a big personality, could have some interesting results. But as you know, of course, the thematics is linked to the premium, but on top of that, the CHSB is included in the bundle for buying pressure, number one. Number two, the yield evolution. We used to be 1D, and now we are? 3D. Now, this is a key component because a lot of people who left the premium left because of the yields. But as you all know here, the yields, why are the yields, are they at the rates that they are on a specific day? It's because SwissBorg is not trying to provide the highest yields, but the best risk return yields so that you don't lose your money because we are responsible for this. But what if with the three Ds, that could bring more people back into the premiums. Haha, -ha. that is a question that I'm sure we already know the answer. And third and fourth kind of connected is we already are looking at building more and more utilities within the Swissborg ecosystem. But what if we can use the token and connect to other ecosystems? And that ties into part number four, which is, we will not be able to tell you today, but all I can say is there are many things that are happening behind the scenes in different verticals. So these are just a few things for everyone to see that the future is. Yes, so happy that you guys remember that. All right. And speaking of the CHSB token and the Swiss Borg ecosystem, I would like to ask you all, what do you think our North Star metric should be this year? What do you want SwissBorg to achieve? Let's involve you all. One more time with a mic, if we can get the mic on. Who would like to answer this question? What would you like SwissBorg to achieve this year? Yes, all right. Thematics. Thematics, all right, tell us why. Oh because many people of the community uh, wait for that for a long time now. <laughs> <laughs> it was a promise. <laughs> I'm going to get beat up today. <laughs> and uh, we will be happy, really, because uh, it's a good way to invest. We, um, it's easy for us. It is easy. That's why. Fantastic. Thank you so much. Who would like to try as well? Yes. So we would like to see um, the Swissborg app being available in different countries. 
in uh, more and more countries, such as Africa, for example, where I believe like uh, the need for it would be massive and the adoption rate even more massive. It's a great goal. That's a great goal. Well said. Anyone else want to try? Oh my God, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get this right. Catch! <laughs> nice catch. So for me, I think we need more language because language is in inclusion. So that's well all. said. Beautiful. The CHSB credit card. Oh, <laughs> yes. so that's for you, Anthony. <laughs> I'd love to see child accounts so I can manage the account for my kids and just provide them more money. Who wants, who wants, who wants, who wants? Nobody? So I'll give it back to you. Whoa! <laughs> okay. One last one. Does anyone want to share what they think our goal should be? All right. Well, let's ask my brother Cyrus. So for me, of course, I'll share it after. But who here is excited to see Swiss Sport take over the passive income industry? <laughs> Cy, what is your goal? Well, I think so it's the same thing that has always been since the day one, is how to bring, obviously, more value to your community, how to bring more community members as well into the Swiss Borg ecosystem and to help to achieve our mission. And one of probably the easiest way to get there is by <laughs> this token getting to be into the top 50. I think so this would be a great, massive goal. I think so. Three years ago, we were in the top 500, right? <laughs> Two years ago, we were in the top 200. Last year, we went from 150 to 60 and back to 120, then 100. I think so this year, we really need to get to that top 50 and remain there. This is really something that, you know, we'll be tackling, we'll be doing really the best, but we, we want you guys as well to do the best, right? Because at the end, when you're part of a community, it obviously, you know, we do a lot of hard work, but you guys have been doing, all of you guys have been doing a lot of hard work. And I, and I really want to thank all of you guys for doing that. And please continue doing that for next, uh, what, how do you say, Valentine's Day. Forget about the chocolate <laughs> flower. CHSB, give it to everyone, okay? <laughs> um, and, and I think so, the, ki the kids account, I really love that idea because, you know, being able to, you know, going back to the, 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 the story of the people that are 80 years old and older uh, that are yodeling, they are yodeling Ethereum, they're yodeling Bitcoin, a Swiss board token, because they're going to pass it to, to the next generation. And, and, and maybe 50 years ago, it was really cool to give Nestle shares. <laughs> I still think it's good, maybe, uh, to some extent if you like to privatize water, but that's another subject. Uh, <laughs> but if you, if you believe in what is the air of Web3 and how we are changing, I think so this could be a very nice way uh, to make uh, yeah, your loved ones even happier. Quick question, everybody. We have a 10-year-old in the room. Should he get an airdrop today by one of us? Do you think he deserves it? Yes? <laughs> I'll send you 200 CHSB in the next hour. Woo! Give it up, everybody. Yes. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Je viens de voir après, OK? Je viens de voir après. Wow, that was, <laughs> I'm really moved tonight. I have goosebumps. This is, uh, this is wonderful. But as you know, thank you so much, guys, for supporting us online, you know, by sharing your QR codes, by sharing your links on Twitter. It, really, the support is incredible because all the support that you're putting into this ecosystem is, number one, saving marketing costs. <laughs> but more importantly, all this money that comes from the ecosystem goes into technology, 
rather than working on sponsoring stadiums, sponsoring things that don't necessarily are connected to values and principles, we can focus on building great technology and tools for you all, and that's the most important. So as you guys know that it's fun fair and community centric and that you're here tonight, um, where's one last thing uh, before getting into some uh, good food and po hopefully some good drinks as well, is um, we're going to have a really, really cool event uh, that's going to happen in the next two months called MetaFest. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> For all the Valaisans, you are obliged to come, it's clear and net, because it's Sacro Montana. And for all the other people, you have to come. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's going to be a really cool event that's going to be held uh, uh, during uh, called Caprice in Cro Montana. We're going to be talking about how uh, SwissBorg essentially is evolving in, the, in, the, in Web3 into NFTs, and we're we'll uh, inviting a lot of different partners, friends. And long story short, it will be a great event. And at the end, obviously, we'll have Caprice going forward. So it's going to be really fun as well to uh, mingle and listen to the best uh, electronic vibes. This does not come to an end, but this comes to the, a moment that, please, 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 go, come, come to us, come to us, that I, I really wanted to thank all of you guys from the bottom of our hearts uh, for everything what you guys are doing. I hope you guys are enjoying the good times. I hope you're enjoying the bad times. And I hope that we are connected more and more as we are today into uh, this real world and as well through uh, YouTube to everyone who's listening. Thank for the, all the team here, everyone that organized this. Big thank you here. When I say Swiss, you say Borg. Swiss. Borg. Swiss. Borg. Guys, we, we, we are, are Swiss, Swiss Borg. Borg. <laughs> Thank you. Cool. Be happy, stay wealthy. Always here to serve you. Be happy, stay wealthy, and love our CHSP. Pow wow yo yippee yo yippee yay. Pow wow yo yippee yo yippee yay. Be happy, stay wealthy. Always here to serve you. Be happy, stay wealthy, and love our CHSP. Pow wow yo yippee yo yippee yay. Pow wow yo yippee yo yippee yay. Be happy, stay wealthy. Always here to serve you. Be happy, stay wealthy, and love our CHSP.